share with everyone. Fadil here. In this vlog, I want to tell you the best types of cat. Check it out. The first one, the polydactyl cats. Let's be real, polydactyl cats give the best high five, high sixes. Also known as a native cats or thumb cats, polydactyl have a genetic mutation that give the more than the usual numbers of toes on one or more feet. Polydactyl, polydactyl cats can have anywhere from six to eight toes per paw. The extra toes sometimes make them look like their paws and thumbs. While polydactyl can happen in many different animals, including humans, it's arguable. Kids in cats. Writer Ernest Hemingway certainly thought so he himself was a polydactyl owner. And the Ernest Hemingway home and museum is now home to some 500 polydactyl cats. The second snowshoe cat. Snowshoe cat with its white muzzle and thick dark points and blue eyes. The snowshoe looks like what it was bred from a seamless with white boots that turned up in the litter of a seamless breeder in Philadelphia in 1960s. The particular snowshoe look is difficult to breed, so register pure bred snowshoe cats are rare, but there are many cats in a shelter who have some or all of its traits, such as the white paw, dark marks, and beautiful blue eyes. So, if you are interested in this kind of cat, you can always get the look or less. The third is calico cat. It is impossible to clone a calico cat with the same markings because of the random activation of the nest. The, necess the necessary traits for calico patterning are on X chromosome. Therefore, nearly all calico cats are female. Male calico, male calico cats are few and far between and can only exist as a result of genetic defect. The fourth British Shorthair The British Shorthair is known for both its look and its typically easygoing and fun-loving personality. The active chunkiness of its face and body and its plus thick fur makes its hardy temperament. The white check face of British hair appears to, to be smiling and more expressive than many cat breeds and it said that the, they were the inspiration for the white green. Just higher, the cat of Lewis Carroll's Alice Adventures in Wonderland. British hunter are reputed to be dog like in their readiness for fun and games such as catching. The fifth, Siamese cat. Who can resist? The Siamese cat's pretty blue eyes. These cats have been valued for their unique patterning 
and outspoken personalities for centuries. Long a uh, status symbol, Siamese cats have been give, given to dig series as gift. They made their U.S. debut in 1878 when one was given to President Randall Ford and his wife by an American consul. These cats are especially known as being very local. Their wild males are sometimes mistaken for a baby's crying. The next Norwegian forest cat. If you like hugging a cat who's a big arm load of wood and can take what you dish out, then the Norwegian forest cat is for you a big cat with big paws and a lot of wood. The, Nor the Norwegian is like a main coon cat's fighting house. The large, muscular, affectionate, and calm. Norwegian has a dense and water resistant double coat and tucked toes and ears, making it the perfect companion for snow sewing. Raiding neighboring countries and standing atop the dragon head on the pro of a viking ship. And next, Japanese bobtail. Japanese bobtail are like cats on the front and and a rabbit on the back and just let that sink in for a minute. It's almost too cute to handle kitties with bunny tails. Sign me up. These adorable creatures are native to Japan and have been around long enough to score appearance in traditional art. Unlike most dogs with dog tails, Japanese dog tails come by their stubby naturally. The genetic mutation that caused the tail reduce the number of vertebrae present. And did I mention they I like to play heads? The next version. Poor poor poor. The persons are perhaps the twin essential luxury cat that is the cat you expect to be kept in the lap of luxury. They are, however, the most popular cat breed in the world, although they are known for the push in. Not that many are bred for arguably the best part of this cat is their portability. All that poor needs a lot of daily grooming, however, and persons are prone to kidney disease. So they need frequent ultrasound. Okay, this is my explanation. Thank you for watching.